Following the decision of the Lagos state government to restrict motorcycles and tricycles popularly known as Okada and Kekemarua respectively from plying major highways and some roads in 15 local councils of the state, some of the operators have started lamenting on the effect of, on their lives and of their family. Lazy Nigerian youths did not just come as a trending topic, it eventually became a cliché. And they are some of the hard-working, young and entrepreneurial population whose means of livelihood have come to an abrupt end due to the near enforcement ordered by the Lagos State Government. <laughs> Following the decision of the Lagos State Government to restrict the movement of tricycles, popularly referred to as kekes, and commercial motorcycles often referred to as okadas on major highways within the metropolitan city, life has suddenly become a living hell as these operators and drivers claim not to have been taken along on the decision and alternatives were not provided by the government. No any tangible notification before they ban us. We saw the posters everywhere that Keke and Okada is not allowed before, but there was no any tangible notification. We were hearing it somehow but before they commenced this very one, it was just about two days, three days it over that we, they, we had. And before Saturday, they carry out the operation. And everyone now, we are stranded. No work for us. As you can see, you can see all the boys. It's no job, we are just sitting down. And Important to realize are the many lives dependent on the income of these drivers and what life would mean for them afterwards. Life is being so miserable for us now. Since last three, four days now, I've not been able to feed my family. I have three children, one wife. It's been so disaster now. Now I don't have any. The little one I save, that's what I'm feeding from now. How many children you get? I have three wives. But although I have like 10 children. Speaking with the chairman of the Oneru Keke Association, he pleaded that the government should not neglect them at a time like this, but also provide an alternative means of legitimate survival for both him and his men. It's for government to bring out an empowerment that I can bring up my boys then and provide job for them so that they will not go and be doing otherwise because no one knows another one's mind. With this in mind, commuters were not left out of the charade, as persons in multitude were seen almost stranded and walking to various destinations, battling with the little or no available vehicles plying their routes, previously dominated by the Kekes and Okadas. Ah, very much affect me, well, well. And they were car for uh, Lawansi to Shita Stadium. I will come for allowance to to the stadium for leg. I know the I know the bus. I know the bus. You see, we can't we can't go down to our work now. It's about to ten, and we can't move. So it's a very big issue for us. I think the government should do something about it. Yesterday, a lot of people trek from Onika, from TBS, down to Odeku, down to Vihai, down to a hotel. So, government should uh, do something quickly at least to rescue this, uh, this, uh, this problem. Francis Ubume, Plus TV Africa.